Yo guys, what is up? If you're new here, my name is Kane and you're watching the Converted Kicks channel. Consider hitting that subscribe button right there and the notifications bell if you like my content and want to stay up to date. Now, if you're not new here, I want to say thank you for joining me for yet again another video. You keep coming back. I appreciate your support immensely. Thank you very much. If you guys want to take part each week and let me know what videos you guys want to see, then I do do a poll on my Instagram. So make sure you go ahead and follow that. It's in the description down below. By popular demand, as I said, this week we have a custom tutorial. Now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these all custom hand painted camo vans. Now I'm going to be going through everything, including the prep of the shoe, actually painting, what brushes you need, stuff like that. And finally, the finish of the shoe, so you can wear your customs without them getting ruined. Now, you may see a lot of customs on Instagram that look absolutely insane, but I can tell you a lot of them, if they wore them shoes, they would get wrecked because just some of the way they do things. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do it properly so you can beat these vans up, but the artwork will stay the same. So guys, if you want to see how I did these and how you can do these for relatively cheap, then this is a video for you. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing is prepping the shoes ready for paint. When the shoes come out of the factory, they all have a factory finish on them, especially on the plastic and the leather products. So what we're going to be doing is removing that factory finish and we're going to be removing it with some nail polish remover. You want to make sure you check the ingredients on the back because your nail polish remover has to contain acetone. Acetone is the ingredient that strips down the factory finish in order for our paint to adhere easier. To apply the acetone, I'm just going to be using some cotton rounds or you can use cotton balls or even even earbuds. Knowing the signs, thought of all the times he never wrote down a hotline. Just apply a generous amount onto the cotton round. You want to rub every part of the leather stripe, including the hard to get to areas such as where the leather meets the suede. Oh, homie. You'll be able to feel the difference between the factory finish stripe and the stripe you've just removed the factory finish from because it's going to be a lot rougher. Outcomes, but this is just a simple teen living in Maryland. One of the many Americans that's such an embarrassment. That's tired of his parents always parenting. Father and son are such a. As you can see, I'm just using some tape like a lint roller to remove the leftover bits from the cotton round. He must read the Bible. But it seems that this book is turned into his own rival. He has the devil's messages in his first finals. Telling I'm personally not going to be taping up the shoe, but I will give you some tips on how to tape up the old school van. With the old school stripe, there's stitching going on each side of the stripe, so it makes it easy for you to pull back the leather stripe and then hook some tape underneath to get the cleanest paint job. You can do this the whole way around. You can even use like an exacto knife if you are struggling with your fingernails. <laughs> Once it's finished, it should look like this. However, like I said, I'm not going to be doing that because I'm confident that I won't make a mess. But if you're not confident, then it's better to be safe than sorry. One of the most important steps of this custom is getting a good reference photo that you like. I'm just going to go for a woodland camo and I'm going to farm one that I like. I like the colours, like the shapes, and then I'm going to base my design off that. You can use any of the crazy colour camos as long as you can find a good reference pictures. The colours that you use will reflect what reference picture you chose. I'm going to be using black, avocado, beige and brown and I did also use a bit of white to mix with the beige to make it a bit lighter later on. You want to make sure you shake your paint well and if the lid's stuck like mine was just use a hairdryer or a heat gun and it loosen the paint lid up and it make it a lot easier to get off. Just a little tip for you. The colour you're going to start with is going to be the one that's predominantly on your reference picture. So for example, mine is going to be avocado. Just put a little bit of amount in your paint palette and use a wide brush to apply the first base coat. You're going to want to apply three to six thin coats of the base layer until it's completely blocked out and you can't see any of the colour underneath. If you're painting on an all black old school van, then make sure you lay down a couple of coats of white first so that your other colours are going to be easier to go on. Now to get these thin coats without any paint brush strokes, you want to apply the paint in all different directions and make sure you cover all the hard to get to areas such as where the leather stripes meet the suede. You can either use a hairdryer or a heat gun to quickly dry it or it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes but you want to make sure your first base coats dry completely before you start applying more paint. This is going to allow for a lot longer life of your custom and it'll be less likely to crack as you wear them. 
But surely he gets told every night he must read the Bible. But it seems that this book is turned into his own right. Like I said, you want to keep doing this until the color is completely blocked out, like this. Patient and await on his arrival, but he can't take it no more. As mind spirals during his piano recital, what he plays is beautiful chords full of compassion and the struggles of denial. Thoughts of when his last breath will be fine. So when your base color is completely blocked out, you're going to want to go into your second color. I'm going to be applying brown now with a thin brush so I can get some of them curves and the different shapes of the camouflage. I tend to go in order of what's more prominent on the reference picture, so for example I'm going to be going green, brown, beige and then black. So what's mostly on there and then what's least on there. Now this is where your reference photo is most important because you can see where the colours overlap each other, what shapes they convey and stuff like that. So make sure you've got a good reference photo that you like. Again you're going to want to apply thin coats and build up the layers so that the paint is less likely to crack. If you just apply really thick layers then as you wear them the paint will just crack. When I've applied a few coats of the brown and it's blocked out colour, I'm now going to go into my beige colour. And as you can see there's a lot less beige than there is of the brown as I've said previously. And you're fine with lighter colours, you're going to need more coats to build up the layers. So I think with the beige I did three to four thin coats with drying time in between. So as you can see I've got my green and my brown and my beige all laid down, all using thin coats with drying time in between and making sure they are full in colour so you can't see any of the colours beneath them. I'm now going to go around on black, see with black it only took me about two to three coats on each to make a nice thick colour but still using thin coats just because it is a darker colour. Down the hotline, and now we live See with the black I went a little bit freehand because I like the way the black goes around the beige on some other camos that I've seen So I've decided to incorporate that into this camouflage to make it a bit unique But still never surprised often his mind is always So after you've laid down all your coats and they're all dry It's time to apply a finisher to protect your artwork I'm going to be using an Angelus matte finish So it doesn't give it too much of a shine when you apply the coat But there still will be a little bit of a shine If you want to get rid of that then literally add a teardrop of duller and and that will make it really matte. But it seems that this you want to apply the matte finisher just like you applied that first base coat onto the stripe. Using a wide brush, making sure you apply thin coats and getting into all the areas that are quite difficult, as you can see here, where the leather meets the suede. I can't stress that enough because if you apply thick coats there or don't finish it properly, then it will crack simply because there's going to be a lot of friction where the suede meets the leather stripe. I tend not to use a hairdryer or a heat gun with the finisher, I let it dry. It takes about five to ten minutes and then I apply the second coat. When it's all finished, lace the shoes up and they are ready to go. These days they put my song into a playlist Ends up being the only one that they playing The love of your life knows every word I'm saying she shows it off at all my shows, I'll probably get it faded No laces in my shoes, girl, I don't fuck with strings You know there's a reason we the backwards kings Too smooth for the rules, can't catch me with a sting They really wanna find me, they can catch me with the tanks look at the fit they can tell his business so guys that was the video make sure you let me know how you think I did on this custom in the comment section down below and if you want to see more tutorials like this then make sure you follow my Instagram vote on them polls or you can leave a comment down there and tell me you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you decide to go ahead and do these camo vans then make sure you DM me on Instagram send me some pictures because I want to see what you guys come up with and really you can do any color you want with this camouflage you can do the pinks red blues you know what I mean all them crazy colors as long as you get the picture for reference you should be able to smash these out and they will look sick and last a long time now if you want to see any more of my uh, custom tutorials then there will be a playlist that you can watch on my channel so if you're interested in that make sure you go check it out new video next week make sure you follow me on instagram vote on them polls thank you guys for watching yet again please like it if you did like this video subscribe if you like my content and share it with a friend if you know they're going to benefit from it i appreciate you watching thank you i will see you next week peace yeah Pop too many and I'm feeling good Spend a ticket and I'm feeling good Yeah Oh damn <laughs>